Today, President Obama will lay out the new U.S. effort to contain the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. It is a huge escalation. The plan includes the deployment of up to 3,000 U.S. military personnel. Compare that to Iraq. There are 1,600 U.S. military troops in Iraq right now. We're talking about 3,000 troops headed to West Africa. Also, the addition of 1,700 beds for treating patients in Liberia alone. The U.S. military will be taking a command and control role for the international response to the crisis. On Thursday, the U.N. Security Council will hold an emergency meeting to discuss how to get a better global response to the outbreak. Right now, on the ground in West Africa, international relief groups say their workers are exhausted and at their breaking point. More than 240 staffers have been sickened by Ebola, with half of them dying. The virus already has killed more than 2,400 mm. people. The NFL. Now, the U.S. is stepping up its response to the Ebola crisis in West Africa. President Obama will announce plans later to send 3,000 troops to Liberia. He thought he'll send military personnel there, too, to supply medical and logistical support for local staff. There has, of course, been criticism of the slow international response to this epidemic, as Upper Patel explains. For more than six months, Ebola has rampaged through parts of West Africa, infecting thousands regardless of age and killing well over 2,000 people, including health workers battling against the odds to help those most in need. For months, the international community have been accused of not doing enough. Now ahead of two key meetings of the United Nations and the UN Security Council, the U.S. ambassador made this plea. We can contain this, we know how to do it, and we must avoid panic and fear. But our collective response to date has not been sufficient. We must move forward aggressively in a coordinated fashion and together. It's highly unusual for the United Nations Security Council to meet and discuss public health issues. But this Ebola outbreak is unprecedented and has become the deadliest on record. One key factor being blamed on the rapid spread of the virus is a shortage of protective equipment. The United Nations is calling for $600 million to deal with the crisis and is asking countries to send supplies, including trucks, beds and doctors, to the worst affected areas. The latest move is set to come from President Obama, who is expected to send 3,000 troops to help build hospitals and train doctors. International efforts to combat the virus have been welcomed by the president of Ghana, who has been critical of the response so far. With Ebola, I mean, it's, it's a scary disease. And so when it started, you know, getting people to come in and assist is, is, has not been easy. I do believe that the international response was slow, but happily it's, it's picking up. But in countries where health systems were already fragile, the promise of help couldn't come soon enough. Alpa Batel, BBC News.